This is the area where my son spent the last moments of his life. That's his dog, Molly. She stops here on every walk we take. I'm 100% sure she can sense his presence, as they say. I believe this is where his soul is spending his eternity. Right in this very spot. So it's been just over a year since my son decided to take his own life. I have never accepted it, nor have I recovered. I know he's gone, but I still don't believe. Because it just seems odd. How can somebody be here one day and gone the next? It just doesn't make any sense. his dog Molly he raised her from the time she was a baby mama she is now three years old we've had her for the last year she will always have a home with us regardless because that's the last piece of him we have left he didn't have any children she is extremely well loved and well cared for and that's how it will be until the day she takes her last breath. We love her just as much as we love him. Hopefully the wind isn't too loud and overtaking my audio. It may be because I have my AirPods in. But Molly and I are just out here roaming on... An abandoned farm property. Come on, Mama. Come on. Get out of there. Come on. Come on. She loves to track scents. I don't know what all she smells out here. Probably all kinds of things. <clears throat> but it's just an old abandoned farm property. It's kind of creepy. It's perfect for this time of year. She's got something in her nose. Come on, Molly. Let's go this way. Come on. This is a beautiful property. It's so peaceful back here. I love just walking around back here. Come on. I do have to watch the grass, though, because there are tons of snake holes, and I have seen a lot of snakes. There she goes. So while I'm walking, I always have to look down keep an eye on my footing but this is a beautiful property it's very peaceful back here molly absolutely loves it <clears throat> there's a trail that wraps all the way around the back of the property and i do have permission to be on this property so i'm not trespassing it is owned by the people where we live and they have given so back to the trail it is beautiful. There is a golf course way out there. And houses. It's beautiful. And there's tons of shrubbery on either side for privacy. <clears throat> but Molly absolutely loves it back here. She stays very close to me. She is my protector. She doesn't stray very far. And if she does leave my sights, she comes back very quickly to check on me. So, it's a Sunday morning. It's the perfect morning to do this. And the weather's transitioning to fall. So it feels nice. It smells nice. There's leaves all over the ground. I love coming back here so I can think or not think. Just concentrate on walking and enjoying the fresh air. There's Mom all again. Come 
my mama. Look at her. Always with her nose to the ground. Tracking. It needs to be mowed back here. Look how thick this grass is. It usually isn't like this. The um, There is a guy who mows this periodically, but sometimes he gets a little lazy. So when it's thick like this, I really have to keep my eyes peeled for critters and whatnot. But that's uh, a chance you take when you're out walking in a wild area. <clears throat> it doesn't belong to me, so I need to respect the property, which I do. I stick to the trails. But there's like an old barn. There's an old silo. If I can get around here, I'll show you. There's an old silo there. Such a cool property. And then there's a highway that runs over here on this side, but it is all fenced off. I love the sounds, it's just so peaceful. Okay, this is probably the coolest part of this trail. It's like overgrown with trees. So it's literally like a little tree tunnel. I don't know if you can see, hopefully the camera ca captures it, but right there is like a little tunnel that you walk through. The trees are all overgrown. I love this part. Sometimes I just stand under here because it looks so cool. There's the view from the top. It does have a few little areas of brightness that peek through, but for the most part, it is completely covered over by the trees and I love it. And there we go. So there's an old barn here at the end. It's really cool. I always wonder. This is probably one of the creepier parts of the trail. There's this old barn here, which I can't get to because it's completely overgrown, but there's that. There's an old truck in this one. This is so creepy. I wish I could go in there and explore, but I don't have the guts to do that. But I always wonder if anybody hides in there or if there's any animals that live in there. It's very spooky, but perfect for this time of the we year. We got this creepy barn on this side, and when we come over to this side, we have another creepy barn. I love this property. It's just so cool and spooky, and oh, I really want to come back here like on Halloween night and record but uh, I don't know if I have the guts to do that it's so scary but I love it scary but I love it and Molly loves it <clears throat> and then we're back out to the main start of the property which is absolutely beautiful I mean there's nothing better than this you got farmland over there Another old building, an old truck, and then there's another barn there. Look at these mushrooms. They're ginormous. I've never seen anything like them. Holy cow. Look at these. Here's my hand as comparison. They are as bigger than my hand. That is crazy. What are these? Does anybody know? getting tired she's laying in the shade rolling around she's been running for about an hour now we always stay out for a really long time and I just let her tell me when she's done basically because I don't get wore out she's the one running around like a crazy person did you have fun mama did you have fun did you you having fun mama you need some water Quit eating the grass, you weirdo. The Chronicles of Molly. She just loves to run, sniff, eat, sleep. She's just happy. She's a happy dog. Oh, I hear 
her an ambulance. She's just content with exploring. So here's another building on this property. This is just an old storage building. There's planes somewhere up there. Up there. I don't know if you can see them. property. You can see there is a house way back in there, but it's hidden by the foliage. There's an old billboard over there, which is really cool. There's another old house back behind this bunch of woods. It's even more hidden, but we'll check it out when we get a little bit closer. Molly's over here. She always sniffs around in that area. I don't know what she tracks in there, but girl over here over here to the house good girl she's such a good dog she listens so well most of the time now if she gets her scent locked onto something I don't have much hope but I do have a clicking a clicker is that what it's called a clicker it's got a clicker and I have this clicker with a whistle on it so if she does get distracted and run away from me I can blow that and she will come back in no time let's go this way Missy so this is another old house on this property it's really cool um, we did explore all these old buildings last fall slash winter when this was all clear all of the structures are very dangerous and rotting but they're all very cool. This one has like an old underground tunnel in it that looked like maybe a way for people back in the day to hide or escape from authorities. I don't know. I can't show you now because it is extremely overgrown, but maybe once uh, this all clears out, we'll come back here. I know you can't see, but way back in there is another little building. It's like a little shed. And then right there is like a little well. Not little, but it's a well. It's covered over. And it leads to a tunnel, which I assume goes all the way underground into the basement. But I am not willing to explore it because I'm a big chicken shit. So, Molly and I love it back here. We spend a lot of time back here. I bring her back here pretty much every evening and every Sunday morning. This is our normal activity, unless I'm really tired because I do work a lot. But, we spend a lot of time out here. We love it. Come on, Momo. Let's go back this way. Shit. Do I gotta click you? Come on. Come on. Good girl. There she comes. Good girl. Come on. Let's go this way. Hey, distracted. Let's go this way. She's going to go around the other way and come out on this other side over here trail that comes out on the other side she will run back there and sniff around and then come back there are some planes out here flying today two of them together they're up there I know they are very hard to see because they're white against the sky but they're up there I don't know if you can see them I can barely see them with my naked eye so Come on, Mama, let's go this way. Come on, let's go. Let's go get some water. You thirsty? This is kind of an overview of the property. It's got a long driveway. There's Mama over there. Wore out because she's been out here for a while. That's how we roll. You ready to go get some water, baby? Come on, let's go get some water. Let's go get you some water. And then there's another long drive. It's got like a maybe a quarter of a mile driveway back to the property. It's extremely private and extremely deserted. That's what me and Molly like about it. 
So now we're leashed back up. I always leash her back up when we're going down the drive because it is the exit out into our property. She does very well. She does not pull on the leash. She stays right here with me, but of course she is tired right now too. And she needs water because I forgot to bring her water container because I'm a neglectful pet parent. So now she's got to suffer till we get home. Poor baby. Mama. Mama. Are you mad because mom forgot your water? Are you going to ignore me? There's a puddle, but there's no water in it. Usually these puddles have water and she'll drink it, but not today. Mama.